So hello everyone. For today's webinar, we will be looking at brain reading technology. So what we'll be covering today is what is brain, re brain reading technology, examples of brain reading technology, and then we'll be having a live demo or just a short video for a demonstration. So what is brain reading technology? So brain reading technology is often referred to as brain computer interface or BCI technology. So it is a field that involves creating direct communication pathways between the human brain and external devices or computers. So this technology aims to interpret neural activity to enable control, communication, or interaction with devices without the need for physical movement or action. So brain reading technology, it really revolves around AI or artificial intelligence. So as brain reading technology evolves, um, AI or artificial intelligence is being used for the methods that we will be looking at today. So BCIs can work through various methods, such as EEGs. So EEG-based BCIs use sensors placed on the scalp to detect electrical activity in the brain. They are non-invasive and are commonly used for applications such as controlling prosthetic devices, gaming, or assisting individuals with disabilities. We'll be looking at more examples of these later on. And for invasive methods, these involve implanting electrodes directly into the brain, allowing for more precise and detailed readings of neural activity. So while invasive BCIs offer higher accuracy, they do come with greater risks and are typically used in clinical settings for specific medical purposes. So we will also be looking at more examples for invasive methods, but one of which can be like deep brain stimulations. Another method would be fun functional magnetic resonance imaging or fMRI. Although not commonly used in real-time applications, Due to its size and complexity, fMRI can detect brain activity by measuring changes in blood flow. So it provides detailed images of brain function, and it is used primarily in research to study brain patterns associated with specific tasks or thoughts. So here are some examples that we'll be looking into. So firstly, we have brain computer interfaces, BCIs for prosthetics control. So researchers have developed BCIs that enable individuals with limb loss to control prosthetic limbs using their thoughts. These interfaces interpret neural signals from the brain, allowing users to perform delicate movement with prosthetic hands or arms. Neural feedback training so this involves using BCIs to provide real-time information about brain activity to individuals. This is often employed in therapy or training set settings to help people learn how to regulate their brain activity for conditions such as ADHD, anxiety, or depressions. So these examples, they mainly focus on improving one's physical health as well as someone's mental health. More examples would be thought-controlled devices and gaming. So there are prototypes and experimental systems that allow individuals to control devices or play video games using their thoughts. So these applications often use non-invasive methods, such as EEGs, to interpret brain signals. Another example would be communication for locked-in syndrome patients. So BCIs have been explored as a means of communication, 
for people with severe motor disabilities or conditions such as locked-in syndrome, allowing them to express thoughts or communicate using brain activity interpreted by computers. Another example would be research tools in neuroscience. So brain reading technology, such as fMRI, EEGs, or invasive electrode arrays, serves us as crucial tools in neuroscience research. The scientists use these technologies to study brain functions, cognitive processes, mental disorders, and brain-computer interactions. Um, the next example would be restoration of vision or hearing. So experimental VCIs have been explored to potentially restore vision or hearing by directly interfacing with the visual or auditory cortex of the brain. And so these developments are still in early stages and primarily tested in animal models. Next, we have mind-controlled wheelchairs or assistive devices. So researchers have been working on prototypes that allow people with disabilities to control wheelchairs or other assistive devices using their brain signals, providing greater independence as well as mobility. So these examples illustrate the diverse applications of brain reading technology, ranging from medical and therapeutic uses to enhancing human computer interactions. Here are some resources that you can explore. And now we'll be looking at a video that demonstrates brain. So thank you for listening. If you'd like to learn this lesson with a Cyber Seniors mentor, please go to www.cyberseniors.org or call 1-844-217-3057 to register for a one-on-one -on -one phone session. We also host weekly tech drop-in sessions from 2 to 3 p.m. Eastern Time on Thursdays.